lady. Okay, that's need back there. Hey everybody, it's Steve here from The Very Life, the retired hobby technician, and today we're going to go over how to install the LA Hobby Guy Light Burn Library the right way. So let's do this. Hey everybody, welcome to The Very Life. I am Steve, the retired hobby technician, uh, retired in Korea, and I got into laser engraving. Yes, this thing here, the small laser engraver, and it has got into my blood. With that, I went to YouTube and I started looking for people. And I found the Louisiana Hobby Guy, which has a plethora of information in regards to light burn and engraving. And I'm soaking all this up like a sponge. When I checked out his channel, I also found out that he has a website and he has some great light burn files and specifically he has a 10, 20, 30 watt combo light burn library for the low price of $14.99. And since I got into laser engraving, I thought what a better way to start with a good library. I paid and here are the instructions to install this on your copy of light burn. But then I also noticed on his webpage that Lightburn cannot open the file. Correct. And he talks about installing libraries. Please read the instructions of which we see here. And I'm going to go over and show you why I think so many people have problems with this, including me. So let's get right to it. I purchased said library and here it is. It is downloaded onto my desktop, and if we open that up, that is all good. And there are included instructions in this note text. So now what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna go back to Light Burn, and we are going to follow the directions. And when I followed the directions, here's what I did, and I think this is what a lot of other people did. It says in Light Burn, go to the library tab. Well, we don't have a library tab. So it says go up to the window. So I go to window and I go to library and there it is and it pops up and it says click the load button. So I click the load button and we're gonna go to the desktop. There is the library, yep. We're gonna double click and lo and behold, it doesn't, it's all grayed out. You can't open it. No matter how many times I double click, right click, center click, scroll, wheel, mouse, it does not work. And after banging my head against the wall for, uh, it was a good 30 minutes, suddenly it hit me. I think I know why. And so we're gonna take a look at this. If we go to window, we can go down the art library, but we have a material library. So make sure you go down to the material library and you might say, well, nothing's popped up. Go to this bottom right corner and you'll see laser and then you'll see material library. So now if we look at the directions, it says click the load button. So we're going to go down here and click load and we're going to go to our desktop and there is the library and we pop that up. And now what is available, you can click on it and you can click open and it propagates all of the test materials that he has done. So I think what the problem is, is that people will go to the light burn and they'll try to load this material library file in the art library and it's not going to work. So you need to go to the material library and that will be, at least it is on mine, of Lightburn 1.7.02 and go to the material library. Click load and it will pop up. Again, I highly recommend the Louisiana Hobby Guy. He is like the master Yoda of all things light burn and engraving, and I'm learning so much. And if you enjoyed this video and it's helped you in any way, shape, or form, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Again, I'm Steve, the retired hobby technician, going to learn more and more from the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And if you bought his library and it won't load in the art library, 
use the material library instead. Now that this is successfully loaded, I'm going to go on and I'm going to print some stuff. So with that being said, we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to stay up to date with what's going on with us. The Buried Life is where we retired in Korea. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.